Comparing fractions takes practice, and there's no better way to practice than to play a fun, easy game at school or home. In this game, players compare fractions using any strategy that works. The point of this game is to win as many cards as possible. To start play, each player needs a deck of standard playing cards. Remove the face cards, but keep the aces. They represent ones. Each player flips over two cards and uses them to make a fraction less than one. For example, a player might flip a five and a four. They can't make five fourths. They must make four fifths. Let's play around. Here, player one flipped over a three and a seven, and player two flipped over a six and a four. Player one made three sevenths. Player two made four sixths. Player two's fraction was greater, but before player two could take all four cards, they had to tell how they knew their fraction was greatest. They said that four sixths is more than one half, and that three sevenths is less than one half. So, four sixths is greater than three sevenths. The game can be played in all sorts of ways. Set a goal of being the first player to capture 20 cards, or play through an entire deck of cards, and the player who wins the most at the end, well, they're the winner. A fun twist on this game is for both players to make a fraction. Then, they flip a coin to determine if the greater or lesser fraction wins for that round. For example, two players might make a fraction, and when they flip the coin, it lands on tails. Tails means the player with the smaller or lesser fraction wins the hand, and they would take all four cards. Then, the players would make new fractions and flip the coin. This time, it's heads, so the larger fraction wins the round. Oh, and there are other ways to play. You might think about, hmm, let's say players are trying to make the greater fraction. Both players can flip over three cards and choose to use two of them to make a fraction. So, a player who flips over an 8, a 3, and a 7 would use just the 7 and the 8 to make 7 eighths. But in this version, the player wins the round and they get all 6 cards. A game like this is perfect for early finishers or independent practice. You could also maybe assign it for homework. Most importantly, it is fun and it's engaging and it's an opportunity to practice with lots of new challenges.